Hello everyone, this is Quad, and today we are going to talk about leveling from level 1 to 99. I will mostly cover solo experience grind, but will touch on bottleneck group strats as well. We will have one basic part on the experience, and then we'll go through major milestones. Three game difficulties, leveling from 90 to 98, and the best ways to hit 99. Make yourself comfortable and let's start. In Diablo 2 there is a certain rule behind experience gained. The more level difference between monster and character, the less experience it will provide. How do I know the monster level, you may ask? Monster level is the same as area level, with addition that champions, blue monsters, have area level plus 2, and boss packs have area level plus 3. Champions grant triple experience, and boss packs with minions 5 times more, which makes it more efficient to focus on those when you try to gain levels. You gain full experience from monsters within 5 levels above or below character level. From 6 levels difference and more, experience gain drops, up to only 5% when the difference is 10 or more. But that is not all. Additionally, starting from level 70, characters receive an overall experience penalty, dropping from 95% on level 70 to only half a percent on level 98. There is an experience loss upon death in Nightmare and Hell difficulties, 5% in Nightmare and 10% in Hell. If you manage to get your body back, this loss is reduced by 75%. Player's X command or having people in a group increase experience from monsters as per chart. And there are two items that give bonus to experience, unique small charm Annihilus that ranges from 5 to 10% and unique staff. Ondal's Wisdom that grants extra 5%. And lastly, Experience Shrines provide 50% experience boost. I will post a link to Pure Diablo page with all information on experience overall. Alright, let's start with a basic strategy on leveling. At the start, focus on hitting boss packs and champions, and larger groups of monsters if you have decent area of effect skills. By playing through, you will hit level 6 around Underground, Passage or Dark Wood. Solo, your best way to hit level 12 is to run Forgotten Tower in the Black Marsh. There are almost always guaranteed boss packs and counters in the end, which will also drop you early runes for your first rune wards. In a group, usually you can run Tristram multiple times and will quickly get to level 16 or so. Kill and Ariel from level 12 or slightly more. In Act 2, continue playing through, killing champions and uniques mostly. For solo play, you can stop at Far Oasis and farm Beetle Burst until level 18 if it gives you skill advantage, like Sorceress with Teleport or Necromancer with Bone Spear. From here, you can go and finish Act 2 already. In a group, you will want to run Tombs in the Canyon of the Magi and hit level 24. In Act 3, it is important to get level 25, as you will need it before Act 5, otherwise you will almost stop gaining any experience there. Best way solo is to either do several runs of Flayer's Jungle, or farm Serena the Battle Maid for a little bit. Offline you can make use of Player's X command to gain levels fast. Remember that Cold Plains, Stonyfield, Darkwood and Black Marsh can have experience shrines nearby the waypoint so it is worth quickly checking those before grinding. In a group play, you pretty much continue playing through until you beat normal difficulty. Act 4 and 5 can be run through and no special experience grind needed. At the end, you can either farm Bale and his minions until level 40-45, or mix it with normal cows. Later, will stop giving experience after level 33, so switch to Bale only from there. Continue playing through Act 1, you will most likely stop by the Countess again to farm runes for Insight and Spirit, which will provide you enough experience to hit level 45 if you haven't yet. Just continue your way and hit every boss pack on the road. From here till Nightmare Bale there is no special farming needed, just make sure to stay within optimal level difference with the areas. Act 2 ends with level 48, Act 3 with level 55, Act 4 58. If in Act 5 you start feeling underleveled, you can farm Eldritch or Pindle until level 65. But it is much better to get to Nightmare Bale and his minions at this point. For both, solo and group play it is recommended to farm Bale and Waves until about level 75, as you will need to prepare for Hell difficulty and get stronger. In Hell the strategy is pretty much the same, you are trying to play through the acts until you get to Act 5. Solo, your first stop will be at Eldritch or Pindle, 
Here you can hit level 85 pretty fast with almost any build. Next you can either continue farming Pindle or switch to area level 85, like the Pit, Ancient Thanos or Chaos Sanctuary, depending on your build. Getting to level 90 won't take long. Worth mentioning that CS will provide 30 to 40% more experience due to more health of the monsters, but it is harder to kill them faster. In a group you will pretty much start running Chaos Sanctuary and Bale non-stop. If you learned something new so far I would appreciate a like on this video so that more people can check it out, thank you. Here is where experience grind will start getting serious. By now you will be only getting 6% of overall experience and less with every level due to general penalty. And in addition, monsters from level 85 areas will start granting only portion of experience due to level differences. Champions and uniques will be still fine for two more levels. Worth mentioning that at this point there are only three monsters in the game that are above level 88. Diablo level 94. Neil Attack level 95 and Bale level 99. Only these three monsters won't have experience penalty due to level difference. Here are several strategies for solo depending on your build and gear, but they can be summarized as players 8 running Bale waves, first without Bale and later with him on players 3, this will work with Javazon, Whirlwind Barb, Sork, Assassin and maybe Necromancer. Players 8 Chaos Sanctuary, 2 seals only, Grand Vizier and Infector of Souls, later all 3 seal bosses with Diablo. This is good for Sork, Paladin or Javazon. Players 8 Pete or Ancient Thanos, here other builds with mass clear speed will do fine. Multiplayer solo you do the same but it will be way slower. In a group you continue running Bale and Chaos Sanctuary pretty much. It is important to note that running on players 8 is only efficient if you can do it fast. If your clear speed is compromised by the difficulty, then consider lowering it. Ok, the most interesting part, last level. Not only you are 10 levels higher than any other monster except the 3 bosses, and they also provide you only 5% of the experience, furthermore you only receive 0.59% of the total experience you get. Therefore, the only 3 strategies here are either farming Diablo, Neil Attack or Bale. At this point Diablo grants 54,000 experience on player 7, Bale on players 3 with 53,000 but you also have waves that will grant you extra 30k, and Neil Attack on players 8 grants 24,000 experience. With this rate it will roughly take you 5,500 runs with Diablo to reach level 99, 3,500 runs with Bale, and slightly over 12,000 runs with Neil Attack. In terms of hours, with the average runtime shown on the screen it is 110 hours for Diablo, 205 hours for Bale, 101 hour for Neil Attack. In addition, it is worth saying that not so many builds excel at clearing Chaos Sanctuary and Diablo, while almost any character can run Neil Attack efficiently. Lastly, you can save your Hell Ancients quest reward that is 40 million X that is not affected by any penalties and help yourself with the last 14% of the experience needed to get level 99, which will also save you 15 hours of running Diablo and 14 hours running New Attack. Obviously with this you won't be able to farm Bale, Worldstone Keep and Hell Cows, so choose it wisely. Hope you enjoyed it and thank you for watching, see you next time.